Spring of 2018, my husband and I co-led a freedom group with some friends and we came to the chapter 11, the vessels of honor. What I felt like the Lord had placed on my heart during that time was that I needed to introduce myself to my new neighbors. Me and my husband, we had two kids at the time, moved in across the road from Kali, and we were not going to church. You know, we were kind of shy, didn't want anything to do with any of the neighbors. <laughs> On Sunday, we stopped by Walmart after church, and my husband and children went ahead of me in Walmart, and so I was um, trying to find them at this time, and I was going down each aisle looking for them, and I came to one, and I saw Alexis and her husband Terry standing there, and so I just came to a dead stop, and I was like, okay, this is my chance to introduce myself to them. So I went down the aisle, and I introduced myself to them as um, their new neighbor, and um, we just kind of small talked and that Easter Sunday night we had a tornado that came over our home and knocked over a huge oak tree onto our house and it just completely crushed it and um, we were there and we were in our safe place underneath our home and her husband Terry and a friend came and helped us out of our house and we were trapped in on both sides with trees and power lines and so the only place we were able to go was across the road to their house. After the tornado and her sitting in my living room inviting me to church, I still was not going to go. And it wasn't until a Daystar group had helped, they were helping them clean up their yard. And the group come and helped us clean up our yard without us even asking. And it just touched me because their house was on the ground and all we had was trees. And like the whole group was over there helping us. That's what made me want to come, just seeing how amazing Daystar was and all their people. And then we had Kylie who helped us during that time when she needed the help more. It made me realize that you do need to be surrounded by people who love you or who can help you and guide you. A friend and I um, decided to lead a freedom group this past fall. And she was literally the first person I text because I just knew that I wanted her there. And so she came and she had perfect attendance. Going through freedom, I got freedom from unforgiveness, shame, guilt. When I was able to forgive the people that I needed to forgive, um, my mom ended up going to rehab. She is clean for the first time in my entire life, so she is almost a year clean. And so I have restored that relationship, and I know that that is from freedom because I went and was able to make that step and influence her to make her step. You just really never know whose life that you could impact with your willingness and obedience. But I just always felt like the Lord wanted to use me with Alexis and her family. Also, they were so helpful, you know, to us in a time that we really were in a time of need. The miracle of God giving me Kali and placing her family in my life, she has helped me in more ways than just with the tornado, helping with stuff that we needed or stuff that I needed and just being there as a friend and a spiritual leader. From seeing it from the very beginning, you know, seeing them in church and then she got baptized a couple years after that and then seeing her go through freedom and all the things that she experienced through that. It's just a very humbling experience with her and then just uh, the friendship that we have together. It doesn't matter where you come from or what background you have or what you have on the inside, what you're going through. Freedom can be a big influence in your life and help God to make way in your life and release you from all the shame and guilt and unforgiveness and just open many doors that can help you in the future.